Sturgeon begs for huge funding from Whitehall Terrify after overspending £3.5 billion. Give them nothing and let them see what life would be like without Westminster backing them. Economists at IFS have stated that the SNP will have to receive support, cut benefits, or raise taxes after Holyrood is short on budget. The Institute of Fiscal Studies is a UK economic research institute specialising in taxation and public policy. The SNP begged Whitehall for more funding after it pledged to spend over £640 per person in Scotland. The IFS has said a Scottish government spending review on Tuesday is likely to reveal a £3.5 billion black hole in the country's budget. Before receiving a penny, Nicola should have received a visit from the UK auditors and UK Department of Finance, accompanied of course by Scotland's anti-fraud team. David Phillips, deputy director of the think tank, said the SNP is facing some very difficult decisions. He added that the UK government may have to provide more funding to Scotland. A flurry of costly spending commitments coupled with potential spending pressure means the Scottish government faces a budget shortfall of billions of dollars over the next four years, according to current projections. In. Because it cannot borrow to finance daily expenses except in limited circumstances. Scotland's spending review next week could see the announcement of a rather hefty tax increase or cut on spending on lower priority services. It could also lead to the abandonment of some policy commitments, to bring the budget to equilibrium. He added the Scottish Government could pin hope to additional funding as the good gamble the SNP lays out in its 2021 election manifesto. However, Mr Phillips said the plan this time may not succeed. He said, while further funding for higher-level institutions may be underway, it does not appear that the UK government will complete the scheme with anything sufficient to allow the Scottish government to pay for all without some tough choices in taxes and other areas of spending. A £3.5 billion deficit would smash the SNP's dreams of independence. Mr Phillips added, the difficult tax and spending choices Scotland will make over the next few years will eventually be faced. Scotland cannot live without UK money, that is an indisputable fact. The people of Scotland were furious with the SNP's myth and incompetence when it declared, I am Scottish, born and raised in Scotland, lived here all her life. Don't give SNP an extra penny. They are economically incompetent, unable to run a chaotic business. Never mind the northern end of the UK, they spoil everything they touch.